I'm going to show you the jewel of my collection today. This is a uh, Springfield 1884 trap door. It was actually made in 1892. This gun is nearly 130 years old. And this is actually the gun that got me into reloading. Sorry about the sunshine out here today, but it's hard to find a spot where I can film. It's got the original Buffington sights on it. Supposedly up to 1,400 yards. They were adjustable for windage and elevation. And I've got a shell in it here. A once fired shell, but I just wanted to show you how bad, or how these things eject. Watch this. It just throws that shell away from it. It's 4570. I've got one of the bullets here for it. I've got massive hands, so it's kind of hard to tell the actual size of the bullet here. But that the original loading was a 45 bullet with 70 grains of black powder. That's where the 4570 comes from. Come on, focus. There we go, 4570 government. And uh, just to show you the size of this bullet, that is a 45, AC, a 45 ACP bullet from a modern automatic next to it. And here's the bullet that actually goes in the, uh, the shell that I load for it. That is a 405 grain cast lead bullet. So I actually load this up with a 12 grains of trail boss powder, 405 grain bullet, and it's considered like a cowboy load, fairly low pressure. These were black powder guns originally, so you don't want to be firing uh, you know, modern smokeless powder out of them. But I actually had a friend who did some work on the wood for me. It hadn't been restored or anything. It's just been reconditioned. It had some sun fading in it. And he's actually a professional at restoring antique furniture. Don't really want to give his name because he doesn't have an online presence. All of his advertisement is through word of mouth. And he restores stuff for people all over the country. And there was actually a splinter in the wood. And uh, he fixed it. You can't even see where it was. He just does amazing work with wood like this. But that is a beast of a gun. I love it.